Greetings, gentlemen. Today we are going to be playing through the first chapter of the campaign of Rise of Moloch. In this scenario, the intrepid gentlemen are trying to rescue a lady who has been detained by the local police, but now seems to uh, be trying to make her escape while the police station is on fire. Their goal is going to be to get her from the police station out of the exits on the map, or to neutralize both the agents that the Nemesis has sent to take her out. The Nemesis in turn will win by taking down the gentleman three times, or by neutralizing this person of interest. This is the first chapter in the campaign, so the gentlemen are going to start relatively low powered, a small amount of upgrades, no items, but on the same note, the Nemesis, who I'll be playing this game, is also going to start on the same note. He's going to have a low number of power cards, and the agents that he's bringing to this particular mission are not his best of the best. We'll get right into it and let you see for yourself exactly what happens in this thrilling adventure. I'm Michael Schnall. I'll be playing the nemesis this game. Let's go ahead and introduce our intrepid gentleman heroes. I'm Julia. I'm going to play as Emma Swanson, the dilettante. Hello. I'm Guilherme Goulart. I'll be playing as Sir Walton Cavendish, the Mechamancer. I am Thiago Aranha, and I'll be playing two characters, Drago, the werewolf, and Abigail Sutherland, the arcanist. All right, guys, we have our prototype here for Rise of Moloch, so all the components here are subject to change from their final version that you might see. So before we actually start, uh, Tiago, you get a scout move Yeah, here. because Abigail is a scout, so she gets to do a move action before the game even begins. So I'm going to just move her. Her agility is three, so I'm going to take her and go one, two, and just open this door adjacent to her. Smash it right open. Now, Guile here is designated as the team leader, so as a as that, he has placed the activation markers for his team, and uh, let's see what he got. All right, let's see what we got here. So the first character to be activated will be Drago the Werewolf, controlled by Diego. So Drago, he is a powerhouse. So I'm, I have two actions, right? So first one I'm going to move, and actually I think I'll start this game by charging already out the door. I will do a charge action, spending one ether. Here Thank you, goes. you, sir. Here you go, sir. And his agility is three, so I go one, two, and I can't go any further. And now as part of my charge, I'm going to attack that gentleman zombie. Now my punch is four, and that is what I'm rolling. Eh, not really the strongest of starts, but one hit. Can you reroll any of them? Uh, my Drago has a chin strap ability that allows him to reroll dice on a charge. So I'm going to reroll these three dice. Leave the hit there. Ooh, and that's nice. a lot better. All right. Three hits. My zombies only have a two agility. Um, so unfortunately, he's dead. I can't even make that roll. So you killed one of my weak, pathetic minions. And now for my second action, Drago will just move out. One, two, and... Smash that door! I was going to open it, but sure, smash it. Come on. Yeah. So that was his turn, we now move to the villain's turn. What do you have? Tobias. Tobias. One of your agents, right? Yes. So Tobias is just going to start moving toward the lady over here, the objective. One, oh, two, no, three. Second move action. One, two, three. Hop around Jeez. the crate. So let's see who's next. Emma Swanson. Okay, uh, well, I have three agility as well, so I'm gonna open this door. For one. That's one. And there is two. I'm gonna stop here because I have to shoot this guy. I have two triggers and I have plus one to be a bouncer and two for my alien gun. So it's actually oh, wow. five. Oh, well, wow. Three hits. Look at that. I think you're dead. Well, that again. It's a zombie trivial. So next up. Is, uh, it says Chaos Card. My Chaos Activation, which is stalling off, so it's actually not going to do anything. Except I'm going to play this Chaos Card, move to attack with two minions, and they gain two additional dice when they attack, and then they are killed. Because I don't really care about them. Oh, so you're going to just burn through them? Oh yes, absolutely. So this one's going to move here, this one is going to step to right here, and we'll attack Drago here with four dice. Two hits. Two hits. Okay, I'll just roll my agility and try to cancel those hits. One dodge. I take a wound, that's fine. Blech. I thrive because I, actually I have my bodyguard ability which allows me to take two extra wounds. I'm and fine here. on Lady Abigail. Okay. <laughs> just one, just one, just one. 
And again. Okay, and that's not good. Because she's a bit softer, I'm actually going to use Drago's bodyguard ability to soak that damage to himself. Because he's a true gentleman. I'm going to spend one ether that you so lusciously gave me here, and I will buy a chaos card. Oh, interesting. Gentleman, or in this case, gentlewoman, Abigail Sunderland. So I'm going to go, actually, one, two, three for my first action, and then I'm just going to pick whatever is in this supply cache. It's one common uh, arsenal item and one gear item. Good. And what do we have here? Yeah. Abigail have a sword cane and a lucky charm. Let's see what's next up. It's the all the zombies. The zombies. The zombies. Right. So they all activate now. Yep. Yes. So let's see. We're gonna head off this way. And their agility is two, correct? This way. And then we will head off one two, and then one two. So zombies have only one action. So that's all they can do. Yep. Yeah. So now I believe it's my turn. Yep. One. Two and three. Not very really gentleman like to step on her, but sure. Yeah. One, two, and, and pick this up. Yeah. So we get. So I got a shotgun and whiskey. Mmm, handy. Always <laughs> useful. Yes. Next up, it is Emerson, the other agent. Emerson here is going to take a shot right over here at our uh, gracious werewolf, Drago. Come at me. And I'm going to go and spin one of his ether to give him a reroll on this. So four dice. Oof. One hit? We well, roll. It's fine. It's just a warning shot. It's, oh, a, good, it's a good warning shot. Three, three. hits. All right. You have the one? Uh, I got none. I have no cover. I'm taking a bullet to the chest. Three. Three bullets to the chest. All right, let's take this second shot at you. Maybe I'll try to dodge that. Turn your back. <laughs> no, he's right away. Got to get him. One so far. One. Okay. We can do better. Come on. Two, three. Okay, okay. Here comes the dodges. All right. Okay, that's one save. So take three hits. Two hits. That means I take the fourth, which brings me down one level. And I take... One torment. A torment. I am powerless, guys. I lose my special ability, so my charging days are over. Oh. Does that ever... Go mad. <laughs> oh, when he's neutralized, it does. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See, it's all the, our policemen. And the damsel in distress, the girl here, the lady. All right. They can all move or attack. And we're trying to get them out because remember, yeah, that's place is on fire. Yeah. Right. This guy can shoot through the window, correct? Yep. Let's do that. He has, let's see here, uh, trigger two. Two. Yeah, two, two, two trigger. And he hits for one. Dodge, zombie. Ah! Nope. Oh, but because of yeah. my special ability I chose, yes. Clearly. His uh, eyes so maybe up. you should, you know, uh, try and roll because you can do better than I do. Okay, so. now, so this guy should attack him, right? Yeah. That's the best we can do right now. Two hits, auto kill. Yeah, Alright, one hit, then roll. Okay, these two guys are done. That guy should... He get out there and try to attack yes. Tobias? I... He only has one activation, right? Oh, I can't get there. Oh, so he would only open the door. All right, so we're not gonna open this door. Let's move this guy out. She moves three, unlike this guy. So one, two, and three. All right. Um, one for the fire. What? Remember, these guys can soak damage for her two, right? So she should have a retinue if, yeah, if possible. And then these two guys, if they stop here, they're in range of fire. So they might as well just try and block this other exit. One, and then one, two. So that's the first round. In the round, and as you mentioned, that fire is going to spread. <sighs> Get me hot. Run away, lady. All right, new round. So now we will take the Gentleman activation cards back, and we will decide how to, you know, the order in which we want to mm -hmm. activate them. Let's go. So our first is Abigail Sutherland. Abigail Sutherland is going to start her round by using her healing trance ability. Spend one ether to heal one gentleman adjacent to her by three. Here you go, sir. And there goes one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Actually, I'm going to use my possessed ability. 
so I can move one more and I have more attack power. And now Abigail is possessed. <laughs> and that is one, two, three, four, five for the cane. Mr. Zombie, you're dead. Yep. Fool, he started dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we should actually be mindful of this because we're giving him a lot of it there. So. Oh, no, no. Next up is uh, the zombies. We oh, no. have only one. My poor zombies. <laughs> oh, the, the zombie. Death from below. I'll spawn three minions adjacent to a sewer plate. <sighs> Why? Okay, so that was our escape route. Now Fire. I will activate my minions. Fire here, zombies there. They're not looking very good there. Tobias is done dealing with him. He's going to take a damage for leaving yeah, and go one, pay attention two, to three. Take the damage. And oh. he is going to attack Abigail over here. Oh, Abigail. And I'm going to use my Saw Surgeon attack boost to give him plus one die and daze. So if he deals with any damage, he'll steal an ether. I'm still possessed, right? You are yes. still possessed. All right, come at me. <laughs> yep. Three. My, I do have my sword key, which allows me to parry your attacks. So I have three for my agility, plus one for being possessed. Very good. That's one and two. All right. One damage and one ether gone. Can I see you from here? See, see me? Yeah. Uh, corner to corner, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so for my second action, I'm going to use my apparatus to shoot Hmm, try and shoot this guy because if I get the spread effect, then I can take out one more there. Try and clear the path there. Use, so, use that lightning. So the apparatus will give me, let's see, two for my trigger, and I'm going to spend three ether. Though it pains me to do that, so I'll be able to roll five dice. And I have one and two and a crown. Oh, the crown for me, for my dynamo thing, I may convert that into a hit and one ether. All right. So that was three hits yep. for my zombie. Let's see what happens. <laughs> he got one cover. <laughs> so he will get killed and unfortunately, him, uh, sorry, Tobias will take a hit. And then I've got to check for this. That was a very good attack. <laughs> and that zombie's just dead. Damn. Cool. Before I'm done, I'm going to activate my leader ability, which I know it will sound painful that I'm giving him two more either. But what are you doing? You get a go, so. You're doing very well. Yeah. <laughs> So can you finish him off, please? I will do my best. So I get a full turn or just one action? One action. Okay, it's enough. So I'm going to attack you. Yeah, one, more. one, two, three, four. You missed the snarler. Rare. That's, uh, yeah, two. One, so I'll take two damage. Okay, not bad. Just before I'm fully done, let's drink my whiskey so I can regain some ether for next round. Next up, uh, Emerson. I believe I'm going to the start by a chaos card. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to spin two to respawn two minions adjacent to an agent. <gasps> Lord. Actually, you know what? I can handle you myself. All right, now, um, Emerson over here. He's going to move away. One, two, three. He'll take a damage for doing so. Yeah, you do that. And now he's going to go ahead and shoot at you, and I'll spend... Ooh. I'll spend his last ether to reroll this. How, how, bad, uh, how bad are you doing I am two away from being neutralized. Silver bullet. No. Nope. Okay. Mm. Almost gave that to you. <laughs> okay, two. Two. That's all I need. All I need. Monkey go. Alright, that's that's one saved, one taken. You shot me in the back, that's so low, even for you. That's right, this guy will attack you from the front. What? Wait, what? I'll spin oh. two ether to activate three minions. And it's going to be this Stop one. Stop giving him ether. This one to here, and then this one right on here, Mr. Cavendish. 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 <laughs> okay, zombie. A little Leo. zombie versus werewolf. Just like in the London history books. One. One. Okay, one is fine. No big deal. Um, Actually, it's a big deal. I don't have a, I don't have a sword cane. <laughs> Not in him, no. Ah, I am neutralized. Good minion. Buy a zombie. It's two ether and another on my track. On the plus side, I'm no longer powerless. 
because I'm neutralized. One this one is down. going to be attacking here. <laughs> Does everything. Ha! Oof. Boom! Two. Yeah. Uh, I can still, I can still parry, so I will. <sighs> parry! Ugh. Sword canes! <laughs> my bane! <laughs> what else you got? Oh, I've got something special for you, Mr. Cavendish. Cavendish? Cavendish, dash, Cavendish, dasher. Is a dish, just remember. Two. <sighs> so I got uh, wounds. <laughs> One, two, three. Mm. Ah, good girl. Avenge me! Killed your werewolf. Okay. <laughs> Give me, please. Uh, seven dice. I'm gonna use my equal. Seven dice. Yes. Okay. We're right. going down. Oh, that's one, two, three, four. So he's only got four health left, but that's fine. Precisely. Yep. And, and you go down. And, and just a scratch. I'll reroll that. <sighs> You're still gonna miss. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and you miss. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good girl. All right, Emerson. <laughs> you had one job. Emma's <laughs> also. So, all right, so unsurprisingly, uh, you just stand back up. I'm up. Good round, huh? Good round. Welcome back. What did I lose? What did I miss? I'm going to attack the lady. Not the lady? Is she possessed? Not the lady. Oh. Oh. Oh, two. Show some love. Yes. Uh, no, not yes. There is, it's two hits. But it only saves one. Well, what about this bugger here? He's going to bodyguard. Okay, he's going to sacrifice himself. For the lady! So yes. he jumps in front of the attack and goes... And dies. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Great. So he sacrifices himself to cancel that second hit. All right, nice. bring it on. He's going to spend one to charge. Okay, he can charge? He can charge. He can charge. And reroll. I'll take a damage. No, no reroll for me, unfortunately. So he, he's almost dead, right? If you die, Attack you lose. Verge. He rolls two additional dice, but suffers one damage. Okay. Delicious. Is that three? Uh, yeah, three. three. It could have been better. Okay. Yeah, but it's, I'm it's down to a three. Three. So if yeah. I don't defend, I'm going to be neutralized. And okay. I'm not dead. You take two hits. Is that it? Yes. But that was a charge, it was only one action, and we yeah, still yeah. have one left. All oh, right. I know. It's intense. I know. <laughs> Ooh. Three. Oh. Oh. That's sad. <laughs> All right. So let's see what I can do here. I have yeah. the one, block one, and take two, and... But I have good news for us, because I have the emergency serum. <laughs> Booyah! First time we neutralized, I instead heal to HP. So let's start it. So... A nasty trick, Cavendash. <laughs> I think you should pay attention to people's cards, yo. Run, run, lady. One, two, three, run. Yes, yes. Keep running. So these guys, do they want to shoot him, I think? I think so, because they could they could actually win the game, right? All right, now this is important. What? Because I'm getting cover from this one. He, he should shoot first. Then shoot first. No, yeah. no. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Oh. Okay, next one, next one. All right, all right, all right, I can do this. Come on. Okay, yeah. So that's, that's two. Yeah, that's two. And... Oh! <laughs> uh, that's two covers. Whoops. Oh my god, it gets gruesome. <laughs> Bam! He only has one wound to lose. So the second one is going to go to me. Oh, okay. I'll play fair. Good. But... Good. So this was a little taste of Rise of Moloch. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just the chapter one of the whole story, and now we would progress onto uh, a phase where we buy more stuff and evolve our characters and go on with the story. So hope you enjoyed it, and see you later. Yeah.